Hey everybody, Grandma Bev here from Life with Grandma Bev. Welcome back to my channel. And if you haven't already seen, I've got a really nice giveaway going on. You know, one of the large flat, not flat, you know, flat rate box, but it's not the flatter one, it's the big one. And I'll be doing a giveaway that will be chock full of everything I can fit in that box. So check it out. It's going to be running till the 15th of May. But today, I've got a new Celebrate State, and it's heavy. I like these boxes. Let's see what state it's from this time. I got all the tape undone. It's really taped up. Oh, oh Alabama. Alabama the beautiful. Okay. Let's see. Got a nice paper map. United States. Oh, here's a bunch of stickers from all the different states. Keep that too. And then, of course, there's always the sheet. It says, we absolutely love the beautiful state of Alabama. From the mountains to the ocean, Alabama is full of beautiful parks, lakes, and green spaces to explore. Do they go up to the ocean? <laughs> goes into the Gulf. <laughs> but, um, let's see. It's a state where you must choose your college football team and wear it proudly. Will you don the bold orange and blue of the Auburn Tigers or the crimson and white of the University of Alabama? Huntsville, Alabama is home to the well-known Space and Rocket Center with one of the largest collections of rockets in the world. You can experience Like somebody walking by. You can where, 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 where was I was I You can experience different space simulations and attend space camp there. My grandson would love that. Mobile, Alabama is the original birthplace of Mardi Gras oh, and has some of the most beautiful beaches nearby. Drive over to the Florabama. Florabama? Oh, Florabama. That makes more sense. A county bar that sits one half in Alabama and one half, oh, a country bar that sits one half in Alabama, one half in Florida. Every spring, they throw a huge multi-state mullet toss on the beach. We have actually been. It's a whole lot of fun. Okay. So then it starts with what's in, what's in your box? Oh, I see. It's that time again, says maps and stickers. If you have been with us for a while, you will know that we have put maps and stickers in before. And this makes a great way to keep up with which states you've received. Okay, now I was gonna kind of mark them, but that's what the stickers are for. Each time you receive a box, sticker the featured state and see if you can collect all 50. Let's check that out again. So, Alabama, where's Alabama at? Must be over here. Okay, it's got a a gator on it. Get that off. Oh, I see. A gator. Let's put the gator on Alabama. He's bigger than the this thing on the. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. First off, there is a. Sweet Home, Alabama, official vacation guide. Sweet Home, Alabama. And I'll look at this in my leisure up in the living family room. Um, let's put this here. Then we got... <laughs> a mug. Says you can call me Al Fow Wow A L for Alabama. What's it say about it? Okay, this is from Fow Wow Designs in Huntsville, Alabama. Fow Wow lives to spread love for funky favorite places and spaces and things that make us smile. 
Born with a love of his hometown and a desire to make stuff, Foul Wow started with a t-shirt. A little weird, a little magical, and the rest is history. Jonathan Fowler just had to make stuff. Original designs that bring freshness to shirtless southern souls. We hope you love the Call Me Owl mug this month. <laughs> I don't know who I'd give that to. We've got enough mugs. So I'll put that there. Don't figure out who to give it to. Now what is this? Banana pudding mix. Oh, I'll show you the good side. It's a Mama's Nana Mama's Nana pudding from Aunt B. Okay, everything on the back of this little, a cute little bunny sack. The ingredient contains egg and wheat. In a medium pot, stir together, mix, and two cups of whole milk. Oh, stir together the mix and two cups of whole milk. Cook over medium heat, stirring constantly until creamy and thick. Cool for a few minutes in a pretty bowl. Layer vanilla wafer cookies and sliced bananas. Cover with about one third of the cooked pudding mix. Repeat to create several layers. Chill on top with whipped cream. Oh, they've got my interest. Save that. Let's see what they say about it. It's Aunt Gertie's pudding mixes. Mama grew up on a small farm on the side of a steep hill way, way back in the App Appalachian Mountains. She was the youngest of nine kids. They didn't have much, but Mama was quick to say they always had good food. She learned to cook using plain ingredients, things common to farm life. Dessert was always a part of dinner. If anyone objected, Mama was also quick to remind folks that life was too short not to eat pie. Sounds like a woman after my own heart. Visit Aunt Gertie's for delicious recipes. And they've got the uh, website there. Keep. It's like a little cotton towel. It says, wash your hands. No, seriously. <laughs> That'd be good to put in the guest room. <laughs> Not guest room, but the, the uh, what do you call them? Powder in the room in the hallway. Uh, it's from So Monkey. S-E-W-L-L-C on Etsy. We have brought you this sassy Southern Mama hand towel. You can just hear your own sassy Southern Mama telling us she means it. This fun towel is perfect for your guest bath. That's exactly what I said. I'll keep that. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Heavenly cake from Kettle Brothers Gourmet Kettle Corn. Whole grain, gluten-free, non-GMO made in Alabama. Ooh, I just had popcorn <laughs> when we watched our movie. It says, uh, wait a minute, ah, fingers. <laughs> you ever have that happen? Your fingers just go, you know. <laughs> trying to keep it bent. <laughs> um, Kettle Brothers set out to change the way people think about popcorn. Through fun and unique flavors, popcorn has finally achieved snacking greatness. To prove that, if you want to achieve something, you can. Even when the world thinks it's impossible, so take on the impossible in everything you do. Keep. Oh, this is a cutie. <laughs> what would you put in this? <laughs> I shouldn't. I shouldn't chuckle too much. Um. Anything on the back? No. I don't see anything about this. Maybe this came from Aunt Gertie's too. I don't know. Snaps and stickers. No pudding mixes. No. Or maybe from the Fowl Well. I don't know. But it is cute. I'll probably put it in the in my giveaway for. Carly's girls, maybe one of them can use it for putting their makeup in. You know, use it for a makeup bag. <laughs> That's cute. And then lastly, we, this is what weighed a lot. And it's all wrapped up. It wouldn't get broken. What I like about these state ones is you get food in it too, but, you know, not just candy and sweets, so I'd love that. But other things, 
but uh, Bob can try recently. He cooks. Ooh, barbecue, white barbecue sauce. And have you ever heard of white barbecue sauce? <laughs> it really make you work for it. Okay. This is Pilateris, P-I-L-L-E-T-E-R-I-S, Pilateris, white barbecue sauce, great on salads. Oh, that's where we'll try it. And grilled vegetables. They've got different, different kinds. Let's just try our honey mustard and Jamaican jerk sauce. Serving idea adds real southern flavor to chicken, pork, fish. Oh, okay, don't have to convince me. Bob will like it. Keeper, and I know it has something about it on here. Yes. <clears throat> Mr. P's Alabama White Sauce from Birmingham, Alabama. Sad. I thought I was carrying a gun. <laughs> Alabama White Barbecue Sauce was created in the early 1900s when Bob Gibson created, <coughs> excuse me, a unique combination of mayo and vinegar in a delicious sauce for chicken. Since then, Alabama has been known for its white sauce. Kind of like Aunt. Anybody remember an Aunt Penny's white sauce? That was around when I was a little girl. <laughs> a lot of years ago. Mr. P's Deli makes one of the most delicious white sauces that we have tasted. And we want to share this amazing sauce with you. And that's everything. What do you think? I mean, gosh. Gosh, gosh, gosh. We've got, you know... The, white barbecue sauce, a mug. My son would like that, my son, Alan. <laughs> His wife would let him use it. Um, popcorn. This cute little. Um, pudding, banana pudding. And a, uh, an order to wash your hands. And I think that was everything, huh? Yeah. I'm happy. <laughs> they haven't let me down yet, so what can I say, you know? Put this in here so I can take a good picture of it. Ah. So, um, comments below. Comments below. <laughs> Share like, subscribe, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I love you all. Bye.